Welcome, space enthusiasts and curious minds. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking revelation that has left the entire scientific community in awe. We're talking about the latest images from the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern astronomy. These images aren't just beautiful. They're reshaping our understanding of the universe. So buckle up as we embark on a cosmic journey to uncover the secrets unveiled by these stunning captures. In the vast expanse of space, a new chapter unfolds, revealing sights hitherto unseen. Though long hypothesized, these celestial wonders now unravel before our eyes, thanks to the groundbreaking mission launched in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope. This marvel of engineering has swiftly become an invaluable tool in our quest for cosmic knowledge answering age-old questions about the universe. It operates as a cosmic time machine, capturing distant galaxies, the final moments of stars, and the intricacies of exoplanetary atmospheres, thus enriching humanity with awe-inspiring vistas from the far reaches of space. Every image it captures is not just a picture, it's a groundbreaking discovery, offering us perspectives of the cosmos previously unimagined. Among its numerous achievements, the James Webb Telescope has identified the most remote galaxy known to us, a discovery that redefines the boundaries of our universe. But the telescope's recent findings do more than just awe. They challenge and upend fundamental astronomical theories, sparking a mixture of excitement and bewilderment within the scientific community. This telescope isn't just a tool for observation. It's a harbinger of paradigm shifts in our understanding of the universe. This extraordinary device we've launched into the cosmos is uncovering mysteries that defy our current scientific explanations. This isn't just a mere academic conundrum. It's a discovery that has profound implications for the future of our galaxy, and indeed, our very planet Earth. Join us as we delve into the latest revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope that have sent ripples of alarm through the scientific community. The universe can be likened to a vast spherical archaeological site with Earth at its center. As we peer deeper into the cosmos, we're essentially looking back in time, thanks to the finite speed of light. We observe ancient images of distant celestial bodies as they appeared many light years ago. Over time, as we continue to observe these bodies, we witness their evolution. Moreover, as light travels towards us, it undergoes a stretching due to the expansion of the universe. This phenomenon, known as redshift, was first realized by Edwin Hubble about a century ago. It means that visible light shifts towards the red end of the spectrum. The further away these cosmic sources are, the faster they seem to be moving away from us, and thus, the greater the redshift. This redshift not only helps us measure the speed at which these astronomical objects are receding from us, but also serves as a crucial tool in understanding the dynamics of the universe. We usually contemplate this redshift as a key to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. The shifting red hues of distant galaxies and celestial bodies provide a glimpse into the universe's expansion at specific moments in time. Yet, these shifts are not merely isolated snapshots. They're akin to frames in a slow motion film of the cosmos unfolding over eons. Given enough time, we could watch this cosmic narrative unfold. And this is where the James Webb Space Telescope truly excels. Equipped to detect a broad spectrum of infrared wavelengths, James Webb can observe galaxies that were once beyond Hubble's reach. This capability, combined with Webb's vast mirror and exceptional pixel resolution, transforms it into the most formidable cosmic time machine known to humanity. The year 2023 marked a full year of scientific exploration for the Webb Telescope, and the yield has been extraordinary. The images it has sent back, numbering in the thousands, are not merely stunning visual feasts. They are critical learning tools for astronomers. These images shed light on the birth and death of stars, the collision and fusion of galaxies, the formation of massive galactic clusters, and the perplexing phenomena of stars that expire prematurely despite having a theoretical lifespan of billions of years. In essence, this colossal observatory 
has already initiated numerous small revolutions in the field of astronomy. Selecting the most groundbreaking discovery from the past year is a challenging task. Yet, this difficult but rewarding endeavor will continue as the James Webb Space Telescope keeps unraveling the mysteries of the universe. As 2024 dawned, the James Webb Space Telescope rapidly captured global attention with its trailblazing discoveries barely two weeks into the new year. These findings have been so startling that they've sent waves of excitement and puzzlement through the scientific community. Previously, astrophysicists and cosmologists held the belief that newly formed galaxies took on shapes similar to the familiar orbs and spirals we observe in the current universe. However, fresh images from the James Webb Space Telescope have upended this assumption. Against all expectations of egg-shaped or disk-like formations, these nascent galaxies exhibit highly unconventional shapes, drawing comparisons to bananas, pickles, cigars, or even surfboards. This intriguing insight is based on an extensive analysis of around 4,000 galaxies in their early stages, as observed by the Webb Telescope during the universe's youth. The discovery of these unusually shaped galaxies has been both astonishing and unforeseen, though there were subtle indications of this phenomenon in Hubble's data. Virajay Panda, a postdoctoral fellow at Columbia University and the leading researcher on this study, commented on this revelation. He is set to publish a paper in the Astrophysical Journal, intriguingly titled Galaxies Going Bananas, which delves into these groundbreaking observations and their implications for our understanding of galactic formation and evolution. Pia is set to present his groundbreaking research this Wednesday at the American Astronomical Society's conference in New Orleans. If his findings are confirmed, they could lead to substantial changes in our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. Additionally, these discoveries might offer crucial insights into the mysterious nature of dark matter. This invisible and elusive substance is thought to make up a significant part of the universe, outweighing atomic matter by a ratio of 5 to 1. Dark matter is known to envelop galaxies, creating the gravitational conditions necessary for the birth of new galaxies. In another remarkable development, the Webb Telescope has recently identified a massive object, larger than Jupiter, that appears to emit infrared radiation due to methane. This surprising discovery by astronomers suggests potential atmospheric heating caused by auroral processes. The object, an isolated brown dwarf named W11935, presents a puzzle for astronomers. It's cold and lacks a host star, which would typically provide the energy needed for such methane emissions. Current research suggests that an alternative source might be responsible for the object's unusual characteristics, a finding that continues to intrigue and challenge the astronomical community. The enigmatic emissions from W11935, the isolated brown dwarf, might be attributed to auroral processes similar to those observed in gas giants like Jupiter. Methane emissions are commonly linked to these giants where atmospheric heating is a key driver. This phenomenon is also connected to the vivid auroras often seen on Jupiter and other gas giants. To unravel the mystery of the infrared methane emissions from W11935, astronomers have looked to similar processes within our own solar system. On Earth, auroras are formed when particles ejected from the Sun are trapped by the planet's magnetic field. These particles travel along magnetic field lines towards the poles, colliding with atmospheric gases to create the mesmerizing light displays known as auroras. Jupiter and Saturn experience similar auroral activities, influenced by interactions with solar winds. Additionally, these planets receive auroral contributions from active moons, such as Io for Jupiter and Enceladus for Saturn. For isolated brown dwarfs, like W11935, the absence of a stellar wind to drive the auroral process and provide the additional energy needed for methane emissions is puzzling. The research team suggests that unaccounted for internal processes or external factors 
not yet understood might be responsible for these emissions. This remains a significant mystery in the study of brown dwarfs and their atmospheric behaviors. In the realm of atmospheric science, the phenomena observed on Jupiter and Saturn, or external interactions with interstellar plasma or a neighboring active moon, might provide clues to the mysterious emissions observed from certain celestial bodies. This exploration unfolded like a cosmic detective story. Leading the investigation was Jackie Ferry, an astronomer at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Ferry's team was granted time with the Webb Telescope to study 12 cold brown dwarfs, among which were W11935 and W2220. W11935 was notably discovered by citizen scientist Dan Castellan, collaborating with the Backyard Worlds, Planet 9 Project, while W2220 was identified using NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. The Webb Telescope, with its exceptional detail, revealed that W11935 and W2220 shared striking similarities in composition. Both exhibited similar brightness, temperatures, and spectral features of water, ammonia, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. However, a notable divergence was observed in W11935, which displayed methane emissions instead of the expected absorption feature seen in W2220. This emission was detected at a specific infrared wavelength, showcasing the unique sensitivity of the Webb telescope. This unexpected finding challenged the team's initial expectations. The discovery of methane emissions from brown dwarfs like W11935 was unexpected and counterintuitive, as methane is typically abundant in these celestial objects, but known for absorbing light rather than emitting it. What the heck? Why is methane emission coming out of this object? Was the initial reaction of team led Jackie Ferdy. To unravel this mystery, the team employed computer modeling. The models indicated that W2220 exhibited a typical atmospheric energy distribution, cooling with increasing altitude. However, W11935 presented a baffling anomaly. The most accurate model suggested a temperature inversion in its atmosphere, where temperatures increased with altitude. This temperature inversion is really puzzling, remarked Ben Burningham, a co-author from the University of Hertfordshire in England and the lead modeler on the project. Temperature inversions have been observed in planets with a nearby star heating their stratosphere, but finding this phenomenon in an object without an obvious external heat source was unprecedented. Seeking answers, the team looked closer to home, examining the planets in our solar system. The gas giants, like Jupiter and Saturn, could offer insights into the atmospheric phenomena occurring over 40 light years away in W11935. This comparative approach helped the team understand the surprising temperature inversion observed in the distant brown dwarf's atmosphere. Temperature inversions while prominent in planets like Jupiter and Saturn, still puzzle scientists regarding their exact causes. The prevailing theories for these planets within our solar system suggest external heating from auroras and the movement of internal energy from deeper layers of the atmosphere. Interestingly, this isn't the first instance where auroras have been used to explain phenomena observed in brown dwarfs. Astronomers have previously detected radio emissions from several warmer brown dwarfs and posited auroras as the most plausible cause. To gain further insights, investigations were carried out using ground-based telescopes, such as the Keck Observatory, searching for infrared signs from these radio-emitting brown dwarfs. However, these efforts have so far been inconclusive. W1-1935 stands out as the first auroral candidate outside our solar system, identified with methane emission making it a unique subject of study. Remarkably, it is also the coldest auroral candidate found outside our solar system, with an effective temperature of about 400 Fa, approximately 600 F warmer than Jupiter. In our solar system, 
the solar wind, plays a crucial role in the auroral processes of planets like Jupiter and Saturn, with active moons like Io and Enceladus contributing to these phenomena. The discovery of auroral-like features in an isolated brown dwarf like W11935, especially involving methane emissions, presents an exciting and challenging frontier in astronomical research. W11935 is unique in that it has no companion star, meaning that stellar winds cannot be contributing to its observed phenomena. This raises the question of whether an active moon might influence the methane emissions on this brown dwarf. As Fury concluded regarding W11935, we are witnessing an extension of a solar system phenomenon, but without any stellar irradiation to aid in explaining it. The James Webb Space Telescope offers a unique opportunity to delve deep into the chemistry of these occurrences and understand how auroral processes beyond our solar system might be similar to or different from those we observe closer to home. The exciting question now is, what will the James Webb Space Telescope uncover next? Broadly, Webb's mission is to enhance our understanding of the universe. For those interested in more specifics, one of Webb's primary focuses in its first cycle, which attracted about 2,000 proposals, was the search for the earliest galaxies formed shortly after the Big Bang, a few hundred million years into the universe's history. This emphasis continues in cycle two, with galaxies and exoplanets receiving the majority of telescope time. One particularly ambitious proposal, led by Daniel Eisenstein of Harvard University, aims to push the James Webb Telescope to its limits by searching for galaxies that may have formed as early as 200 million years post-Big Bang. This endeavor represents just one of the many exciting explorations Webb is set to undertake in its quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. In the quest to explore the cosmos, distances to distant galaxies are often measured in terms of redshift, which is the extent to which the light we observe from a galaxy has shifted towards the red end of the spectrum due to the expansion of the universe. Daniel Eisenstein's ambitious project involves searching for galaxies beyond a redshift of 15, which would be farther than any other galaxies conclusively observed to date. In its second cycle, the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, will delve into various cosmic mysteries. It aims to understand the chemical diversity in the inner disks of exoplanets, explore sulfur dioxide in the atmospheres of hot gas giants, detect precursors to silicate clouds in ultra-hot Jupiters, and continue the survey of the chemical evolution of planet-forming disks. Webb is also poised to provide initial insights into the atmospheres of giant exoplanets orbiting M dwarf stars. Regarding our own solar system, Webb has a roster of intriguing objectives. It will investigate water, ice, and distant comets, delve into the upper atmosphere of Jupiter, complete spectroscopic coverage of Europa's surface, study water outgassing in main belt comets, and seek new information on the habitability and plume activity of the ocean world in Slatus. Additionally, the telescope will play a crucial role in black hole research. Astronomers are set to use Webb to study supermassive black holes, including the search for possible runaway ones, and to understand the impact of active galactic nuclei, AGN. Each of these initiatives represents a significant step forward in our quest to unravel the vast and complex mysteries of the universe. In a groundbreaking pursuit to unravel cosmic secrets, the James Webb Space Telescope will focus on understanding the impact of supermassive black holes on star formation during the period known as Cosmic Noon, and it will explore the hidden growth of these black holes during the epoch of reionization. In one of its many noteworthy missions, Webb will turn its gaze towards Sagittarius A, the black hole, at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. The aim is to monitor its inner accretion flow to deepen our understanding of black hole formation. The data from Cycle 2 of the Webb Telescope's operations promises to address some of the most profound questions about the universe. These include the origins of the universe, the search for extraterrestrial life, and the evolution of stars and galaxies. Essentially, 
we are venturing into the great unknown, and the excitement surrounding these discoveries is immense. INA separate but equally fascinating revelation. A new study has shed light on a peculiar green-hued phenomenon, imsically termed the green monster. Initially observed last year, this strange Grinch-like wisp of green light was seen weaving through the remnants of an exploded star. It has been identified as part of a blast wave bordering the debris field. In April of last year, the James Webb Space Telescope captured an extraordinary image of this emission in front of Copia A or Cas A, an expanding shell of hot gas located about 11,000 light years from Earth. The light from this celestial event first reached Earth approximately 340 years ago offering a rare glimpse into the aftermath of a stellar explosion. For the past year, astronomers have been diligently working to decipher the origins and characteristics of a unique feature in the well-examined supernova remnant known as Cas A. This pursuit gained a significant breakthrough with the unveiling of a new image at the American Astronomical Society Conference in New Orleans, both in person and online. Welcome to Blasovia Science TV where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blesovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, LiveQ, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in LiveQ and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blessovia Science TV member today, and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.